welcome back. Thanks, ladies. Brian and uh, Alana, thanks for uh, having us here at 604 Records. Um, we'll just get into it, I guess. Um, so when did, how old were you when you first, you both first discovered you had a voice? Um, I think it was in kindergarten. We had this music teacher that would make all the kids go up one by one and sing Castle on a Cloud. And then he actually had a choir in, our, in, in White Rock. And uh, we joined after that, and we started singing, and kind of just went from there. We just yeah. were always singing after that. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what about like instruments? Did you, when did you first pick up like a guitar? Like, like we were we were like twelve. Yeah, we were. But we I guess like grade six. So yeah, we were twelve, and then yeah. we both started guitar. But Brienne plays more guitar now, and I kind of just like, play mandolin occasionally. Mm -hmm. um, our mom's also a piano teacher. We started with piano before oh. anything. Um, but um, we kind of didn't really take to it as much mm -hmm. as like, you know, guitar and... Who or what was uh, a major influence uh, as children growing up, like musically? I, I guess both of our parents, like our dad, he is also a piano player, but he traveled in a, a band from Ireland to mm -hmm. Canada called Killarney. Yeah, he used to like always play Celtic music around the house. It's big so. back east where I'm from. So. Yeah, 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 so it's, it's, I don't know, it always inspired us and like every Saturday morning he'd yeah. play his, Songs, yeah, like, put the Bothy band on and we'd like run around, like, <laughs> yeah. Is that where the, influ the folk influence came from, I guess? Or? Yeah, I would yeah, say I so because yeah. we and we do have a bit of that sort of like folky influence in our mm -hmm. in our sound, so I think that that would be where it would have come from. Mm -hmm. When did you both start writing? We were about 12, yeah, we were about 12, and we just kept writing all through high school and like. I don't know, it took a while for them to actually be presentable. Yeah, <laughs> That's what I think anyway, but, um, but no, it's, it was good that we, I think it was good that we started early because mm -hmm. it takes a while to like build up like... Exactly, kind of master the craft. Yeah, yeah. How would you describe your style? Like, um, do you write songs together? Like, is it like McCart Lennon McCartney or Keith, you know, Richards yeah. and Mick Jagger kind of style? Like, you bring your own elements to the... So yeah. each song, or do you finish each other's sentences, that kind of thing, or how does it work? <laughs> I write a bit more pop, and she writes a bit more folk. Okay. And yeah. it, like, so we don't really write together at all. We kind of edit, maybe, yeah. edit the songs together. Yeah. But on our record, it actually turned out that half the, exactly half the songs are hers, and half of them oh, are wow. mine. So it's kind of, it's cool. You get like both of our different personalities and like styles kind of in there. Uh, how did you get signed to 604? We were actually busking. We were busking out, because we used to busk at White Rock Beach during the summer to make a little extra money. <laughs> but it was good, like we used to go every day and somebody that had a connection with Jonathan, who was the head of the label, mm -hmm. um, got us an, uh, an audition. Yeah, so then we auditioned in the sound stage and with like our little sound system and then, yeah, <laughs> kind of, it all went from yeah. there. You just blew them away. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, speaking of busking, what did you learn from your days of busking? Um, I think, like, starting off, we started busking at Gravel Island when we were 12, and it was really good because it kind of just gets rid of all fear of performing, mm -hmm. because you're literally getting up in a, in a space where, like, people aren't expecting entertainment, and then you're entertaining. It was really scary. And like, it, well, I mean, it wasn't not anymore, but, like, no, at first it was, like, we were like, because we were like 12, so we'd like stand in the market and we were like, <gasps> like just stiff and like... <laughs> yeah, but I think at that age, like, it's kind of before, it's almost like before you you have the, the self-doubt that like an adult would have going up and... I think we were still kind of... I think we a, little a little bit, but it wouldn't be like, I'm glad we started early like that mm. because when, once you get older, like... You know, I don't know, especially into like mid teens, it's like, oh, like everything's embarrassing. Yeah. Like, but you know, we kind of got over that hump by starting yeah, early. Yeah, so we don't, we don't really get like performance nerves. No. no. Really no that's perfect. So yeah. it was great training ground base. Totally. Did it help you in your life in general, like with school or just like in social Maybe situations? Maybe it helped with our confidence yeah. I, a bit. Yeah. I definitely think it did. Yeah. Just being like, just doing what we've done, like gigs and like we've we've played shows like every weekend mm -hmm. um all through high school and stuff but like i'd always been like really shy and it like really brought me out of my shell yeah out of my shell your producer on your last album uh louise burns uh, what, what did you learn from her oh a lot uh, just about like um i don't know like our taste has really expanded like musical yeah. taste since we've known her and like i don't know a, lo a lot about production because we just had to be tasteful like, yeah with certain like good hooks and good like parts like in the song and like 
I, I don't know, like, because we'd want to add like a million harmonies, and she'd be like, you know, less is more. And we kind of like learned that a bit from her, and yeah, I don't know, just she just like the three of us when we're together, we're just like very cre like our creative minds kind of, yeah, like they yeah. they work together. They mold. <laughs> they mold, well. yeah. Exactly. So no, it's good. No, it's like a really good pairing. Yeah, like or not pairing, but like. The good trio. Good trio. <laughs> is she kind of a mentor to you girls? Or? I would say yeah. so, yeah. She's kind, of, she's kind of like our big sister now. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Do you have any other mentors? Any other mentors? Like throughout your life and career? Um, we have, um, we got guitar lessons from my dad's friend, who kind of, he also taught us how to song, right? Uh, who else is part of your team? Kara is our project manager. Kara, and um, we have Mavis, who uh, does our publicity, and... Um, as for like musical team, we have Louise and then Pedro, who's the sound engineer here at 604. Uh, Dave Gen, who um, did all the guitars, like electric guitars on the record. So what have you learned about like, from being in the studio? I guess a lot about um, production. Yeah. And, like how to like work with other creative people and like just create something, mm -hmm. you know, that, I don't know, it's having, I guess having a team and having like just because we're used to even writing songs by ourselves. Yeah. And, like, we were only used to ever working together musically. Like, I mean, like when we'd sing together, we'd never really worked with other people. So it was, mm -hmm. it's been a great experience, yeah. Where do you both draw inspiration from? I don't know, I guess like personal experiences. Mm -hmm. um, most of the songs written on this record were written when we were like 18. Okay. 18, 17, 18, 19, like that mm -hmm. um, age realm. And like, you get to a point where all the like ideas you had about the world, especially like being in like high school or being in like I don't know an institution, I guess. Like uh, that makes it sound really bad, but no, like everything, true. you know, it's it all changes like drastically. And I think that's all the songs we look back and we're like, that's what they're all about. They're yeah. really just like this phase of life where it's like you know you start questioning you're just and confused like confused all of a sudden because you're so like when you're a kid, you're not really like. I don't know. You don't really notice things. You don't notice things as you get older. Exactly. Your song "Skeleton" uh, sounds very like a, a, yeah. comes from frustration. Isn't it? Yeah, or, yeah, that was kind of something that, like I noticed as I got older. You know, mm -hmm. like I don't know, just like 17, 18, 19, you realize that like a lot of people, the media, they look at women as like objects, and it, it frustrated me. So. Yeah. What, what about uh, artists who who when you look back and you like who? influenced you musically that way? Um, um, Hosier, like, he wrote like my, well I think it's, is it still your favorite song? It really, yeah it is. Like my favorite song of all time is Take Me to Church. Um, so, and like Hosier's, it's my favorite modern. Yeah, my favorite, like, yeah. Um, but his album also is just like spectacular and like I always draw inspiration from, from him. And Sinead O'Connor. I love Sinead. Yeah, mine's more like Lana Del Rey. I love okay. Lana Del Rey. I love and her too. Lord. And I don't know, I'm kind of getting into like PJ Harvey and I'm getting into like The Cure a bit more now as well. But like when I was writing for this record, it was a lot of like Lana Del Rey's influence. I was going to ask you that, like when you went to record, did you, what was on your phone? What were you listening to? Did you bring the producer? This is what I want to sound kind of like, or yeah. my influences of that. So you said Lord was. So, yeah. Like, well, not like, because our production like is very different than Lord. She's a mm -hmm. lot more pop, I a think. A lot more electronic. Electronic. Yeah. We're more like. It's a little more like, organic. Organic, mm -hmm. yeah. We have some like that are a little more like. There's more like just kind of, I don't know. I just appreciate how she always writes about. She writes about things, you know. A lot of songs like are not are about nothing, right? Yeah. But Lord actually like has like de in depth like lyrics, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's how she inspired me. But Lana Del Rey, hers is a little, a little bit more organic on some of the records. So. Yeah. Especially Ultra Violence, so we kind of brought in her. And we were like, kind of yeah. want to sound like this. And we had a few we others as well. Like we never wanted to sound exactly like yeah, something. Yeah. Just like draw inspiration. Yeah. From each. from lots of different sources. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. Louise introduced us to Bjork. Which we like now. Now we're Love Bjork fans, and uh, Kate and Bush. Kate Bush as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you listening to right now? Ooh. I'm listening to Frank Ocean. I'm listening to his album Blonde. Mm -hmm. It's really awesome. I've like been listening to a lot of Charlotte Carden. Is it weird having your music out there and for the world to listen to? And how does that feel? I guess it's cool. It's really yeah. cool, but then you try not to think about it too much. Yeah. It's like you don't, you know. It's like I don't know. It's really nice because we like posted our first like lyric video. 
a couple months ago. Yeah. But like literally all the comments are so nice. Yeah, and nice. like sometimes I just read them to like bring me up when I'm <laughs> sad. Like they're just like, I'm, like super everybody sweet. Everybody who watched this video was like the sweetest. It was really nice. Especially for our first ever yeah. thing song. Yeah. Released, yeah. You know. Like, who did the video actually? Uh, um, this guy Mish in Toronto. Misha. Dobak. I think yeah. that's his last name. Um, yeah. Yeah, he did um yeah. he, Coleman Hell Two Heads lyric video or like yeah, I'm not sure. um he, he's he's a part of Coleman Hell's band and who's we, another artist on are they yeah who's cool? another artist on this and song. I always really liked his lyric videos I didn't know who did them but then we found out it was Misha and we were like can, can you do our eyes <laughs> yeah what's on the horizon you gonna be back in the studio some some tour dates that kind of thing? Uh, tour I'm, yeah we're not booked back in the studio right now mm -hmm. I guess it's all about like the tour and like. Mm -hmm. Um, just now it's about releasing our music and yeah. making people aware of it. Yeah, <laughs> coming like up with a plan, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and trying to, we're still trying to think of an album title and yeah. like artwork and like it's, you know, it's a lot to but think about. Yeah. Still. It's fun. Yeah. I mean, it'll all come together soon, and yeah. we're really excited because it's our first tour mm -hmm. ever. So yeah. and it's in a couple months, or it's not even a couple months. Yeah. It's in May. It's, yeah. yeah. Oh my what time are some What are some dates and locations? Uh, um, we're playing a. At the, the Vogue, Vogue, yeah, on um, the 15th. And then we're playing in Victoria. Those are only two BC um, at this place called the Capital Ball. Yeah. All of our tour dates are um, on, on like our social media, on our website. So. Speaking of social media, how's that helped you, your career so far? I mean, we had a bit of a hard time with it at first because we weren't ever really into social media mm -hmm. as teenagers, which is kind of surprising because yeah. like, a lot of people, we, we didn't, didn't have phones. Yeah, we didn't have cell like, phones. I didn't have a cell phone until like last year. I'm trying to like detox from my phone right now because I just... Except for bands. Except stuff. for, yeah, you know, know, just, just like, focusing on the band. Just because like, we love doing social media for our band because yeah. it's like, you know... We're passionate about it, yeah. so it's fun. Uh, Mark wanted to know, do people confuse the both of you? Yes, yeah. especially since we got the bangs. <laughs> yeah. You know, it makes us look way <laughs> more uh, identical. Even my, like, yeah. our family members and our friends, like, they're like, oh, like, the bangs, but, like... But they would never get us wrong. No, though. they wouldn't, but they say, like, now they have to, to look again to make sure. Yeah. Because the bangs just make us look very similar, apparently. It's funny, it's like, usually only strangers that, do, that are like, whoa. Like, mm -hmm. and we've been getting it more recently for some reason, like, the bangs. It's a, I think it's the bangs, <laughs> yeah. Like, well, I guess it adds. Does it add to your mystique? Your, you know, mystique, yes. and you're on on stage. Um. I, yeah, yeah, I guess. I yeah. think we kind of played <laughs> off of that when we filmed our music video. There's a little. We kind of play yeah. off of it a little bit. So even your album artwork, I guess. Well, yeah. well, not your album artwork, but your promotional. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it was kind of weird. Skeleton. I mean, it was like creepy yeah. because we looked exactly the same. And creepy because yeah. we had half skeleton faces. Yeah. Who just you, you named a, a bunch earlier, but who top five artists? Um. Hosier, Sinead O'Connor, Simon and Garfunkel. Um, I guess right now, Jesse Reyes and Charlotte Carden. Mine's Lana Del Rey and Lord. Right now, SZA. I love SZA. Okay. And who are my other ones? I think PJ Harvey and Radiohead. I'm really into Radiohead right now. What's been your biggest career challenge to date? It's been a short career so far. Writing. That's yeah. a challenge. It's always a challenge. So. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up with new ideas or songs or inspiration. Yeah. yeah. But then like once you do come up with an idea, it's so satisfying. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know on your YouTube channel you have a bunch of cover songs. Yeah. What's been your favorite one to do? I love doing the chain. I think we're going to do that on tour. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I, I think. So I'm not, I can't promise yet, but mm -hmm. I think we might be doing that one on our tour. Really fun. As our one cover. Because yeah. it's just fun. Yeah. It's a fun one. Too. Everybody knows it. It's yeah. like, Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thank you, well, thank you for having us. <laughs> Our pleasure, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the stage pretty soon here in Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. we can't wait. We're excited. Uh, thanks, YouTube, for uh, watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, uh, and their links will all be in the description below. Uh, see you next time. What's your story, Vancouver? Our city, our stories.